What's up, guys? Look at that big, beautiful Matco truck. Come on, let's go. Remind me to tell you a funny story about them creepers uh -oh. in a minute. That's a good one, you'll like it. Funny story about the creepers. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, how y'all been doing? It's been a week. It's almost over with, so we're good with it. It's been well, a good was, week, but it's been long. I was hoping when I come up here, I was gonna see that box you posted on Instagram. Yeah. On here. No, that thing don't fit on here. But customer's happy, so that's all that matters. That was a cool box. Yeah. I'll have to put a picture of it on there and everybody can see it. Cause yeah. That was cool. Was that a wrap? Uh, you talking about the, the Eagle? Yeah. No, yeah, it's, uh, they've teamed up with a guy that does that. Um, they're, you can change the trim color. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the guy actually wanted red, but uh, I've seen chrome. I've seen a couple different things, but yeah, I think we've had uh, he he painted on one at Expo, did he not? The lightning one. He painted a lightning eagle. Um, so they they partnered with him. He's a real good artist. So, but yeah, he um, customer saw it, wanted it. It's like the flag box. It's just a it screams USA. So yeah, I mean it's, it's cool looking. Um, probably gonna try to get another one. I'm trying to let them go on sale. Um, the best box to sell is the ones on sale. <laughs> uh, but you know, that's just my opinion. That may not be everybody's. Else. With uh, well, it's being behind on boxes anyway. You kind of take what you can get. You know. Yeah. Um, not as far as the customer. The customer is definitely not gonna take what they get. I mean, as far as me, I'm gonna mm -hmm. try to get whatever I can get in and, and sell it as quick as possible. But as far as the customer, you know, we want them to get the box that they want. That they right. like so um we ordered two more last night uh, two more boxes last night so uh four to six weeks we'll have them and uh, we'll go but that kind of leads us into the thing that we're doing now if you'll notice we've had these two carts for a little while um a little long everybody's been wanting boxes and not so much carts so we've put together kind of a cart deal um Either one of the carts that you purchase, you, uh, it comes with everything on the table for about 20, 25 bucks a week. So, wow. of course, you can add to that. You, uh, if, if it was me, I would add sockets to that. Um, but I've started noticing that more and more techs, that's one of the first things they come in with. They've got sockets. They just don't have yeah. good quality pliers, good quality screwdrivers, good quality ratchets and stuff like that so and Dude, of course that's, that's awesome right there because i know for a fact that's a bad guy and this is going to be my next big matco purchase yeah. yeah and you can't beat these yeah i've got this and i absolutely love it i own these and i love it and that's my screwdrivers of choice <laughs> I mean, yeah so we uh i threw that together um so they get everything here Plus their choice of that cart this, or cart this cart or that cart for about thirty-five bucks a week. Actually, twenty-five. Around twenty-five. Yeah, it's around twenty-five. Now, wow. if you have if you if if you have really really good credit, you may be around twenty or so. If you have really 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 like I'm just starting out credit, you may be around thirty. But I go middle of the road. You know, I don't give you your worst option and mm -hmm. I don't give you your best. Um, I, I have noticed that if you give the worst case scenario, most of the time you're going to lose sales because they know their credit score and they know that they got a really good score. They won't say, hey, I got a great score. They'll just say, well, what do you think I can get into it for? So you might lose a sale there if you give like, because if a guy has an 800 credit score and you throw him out, well, you're going to be about 35 bucks a week. He's going to be like, oh, not for my credit. I'll just, nah, I'm good. Yeah. But if you tell him the best case scenario, well, hey, you may be $15 a week. Then he gets hit at 20. He's like, well, Hey, yeah, no. save some money. Yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> you know? So, I go I'm middle of the road. 
uh, the best thing to do, uh, I tell my customers, I've got to where I'll say, well, this just takes five minutes to fill out a credit out. Let's just go ahead and fill it out. Uh, and I, I go over the receipts and show them everything so they don't go into nothing blind. But, right. yeah, I mean, for, yeah, for a starter kit, good, though. Um, we kind of went with a green thing there. If I would have had green pliers and green screwdrivers, it would have been great. But, mm -hmm. hey, that's all right. That's it, a good deal though, because those are those are nice cars. Well, somebody that that's just starting out, or even somebody that that has been working out of a, an older box for a while or something that wants something mobile, yeah. I'm starting to hear mobile more and more. Even on my bigger boxes that I'm selling, it's like, well, how mobile can I make this thing? <laughs> it's like I I don't know how much room do you. You know, got? I got a buddy of mine, Matthew Cox. He's got a seventy-two inch box with a hutch on it. Yeah. And he works at a big truck shop. He works at Clark in Memphis. And he rolls that bad boy from one end to the other. Yeah. I mean, he's got the biggest roll cart probably on YouTube. <laughs> you know? I mean, if, if the shop um, is, I guess, able to do that, right. why not? Yeah. I mean, why, why not go big? Uh, most of the shops I go into have got that room. It's just when you load them down, they get pretty heavy. Yeah, they heavy. And our boxes are built heavy anyway, so they're heavy to begin with. Um, but, you know, I I really wanted to keep one of the carts for myself, uh, but I fall right back into that same thing that we talk about every video. I'd rather make a dollar than, than do it. I want one up here. I want to I wanna change my truck up. You know what you need to do? Just do it. Just order one and that it, you know... Yeah. That will not sell. Order a paint with green handles. Man, if I, did, that, if I did that, somebody would see it and they'd buy it immediately. Well, sell it. <laughs> Pull it out of there and sell it to them. But, That's uh, the way to do it. Yeah. I. Uh, in fact, when we were talking about ordering the flag box, she thought that's what I was putting up here instead of a cart. I want to I wanna take a cart and put it right here. I know some other tool dealers out there have got it done, but um, I just can't make myself do it. Just get on there and punch him up some stuff. Order what she had. Order in my Alabama box. It'll never sell. Not here. Uh, I don't know if that ever know. make. I don't know if that ever make it up on here. <laughs> that might get left at the shipping dock. Oh wait. That one would have freight damage. So, sure. I know a lot of people. They're always throwing it up. I can buy this here. Matco rebrands that. I can buy it off of Amazon. I can buy it at O'Reilly's or whatever. And my, it, I will stand by my statement. The tools are only as good as the guy that sells them to you, right? Yeah. So I've never handed you anything and you said, we're not going to warrant it. Or I'm not going to fix it. Or I'm not going to replace it. Yeah. So you see that yellow creeper? And it's funny <laughs> that you've got a yellow one sitting there. Let me get my phone open. I don't know where this is going. Oh, it's good. <laughs> like, you're going to like it. So a buddy of mine, Jason Pollard, he works at a uh, Valencourt down in Florida. Yeah. Huge construction company. He works in a shop. Well, he bought a creeper at O'Reilly's. Uh oh. And it's the same one that Matco sells, except it's got, you know, Jeepers Creepers or whatever. But he had an issue with his wheels. So they, <laughs> they warranted it. I'm going to put a screenshot up here that way you guys can see it. So they warranted it. Now scroll over. And you can see, <laughs> see the wheels Holy that they sent him for warranty. So now he's got a high boy creeper. <laughs> and I said, that right there is a perfect example. Like, okay, he saved maybe $10 by buying it. Yeah, not a lot. No. It, it, even if it's $10. But let's just say he saved $25. They had a super blowout sale on it. How much is that creeper worth now? <sighs> <You know? laughs> if you're working on my Tahoe and you're my weight statue, no, nah, you're not. It's not helping you at all. <laughs> now in my shop, that might come in an advantage, you know, with yeah. those ski jumps that <laughs> I have. But I, I don't know. I said that right there is a prime example of why you should buy tools from a tool truck, and that way you don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. So I thought that was really funny. And then I walk on here, and the first thing I see is a yellow <laughs> creeper. So yeah. I mean, I don't think nobody hides that fact. Snap-on does the same thing. Uh, Cornwell does the same thing. Mac does the same thing. Yep. I mean, a lot of those smaller companies, and I'll, I'll throw it out of there, a lot of these smaller companies that we all do that with, 
they'd never make it if the tool trucks didn't do that. Mm -hmm. um, they're able to stay where they're at and stuff like that because of the, the tool trucks. I mean, think about it. Um, if I don't want to throw any of the names out there, but if they didn't have three major tool companies or four, honestly, I mean, I'll I'll, I'll say Mac, Maco, Snap On, and Cornwell. You take those four major truck companies that's almost everywhere. That's that's mm -hmm. better than having a, a store, you know, yeah. in one yeah. state because we're going to just about. We don't wait on customers to come to us. We go to mm -hmm. them. So you're not waiting on somebody to find you on the and internet. Plus, it's targeting their audience. You right. know, like a guy that goes in Lowe's, he may never go over and look at the the sockets and stuff because well, yeah, that's you know, you that, know that's, he's in there for a two before and some trim to go around the bathroom mirror or something. You know. Yeah, we're not we're not waiting on that click on the internet to say you know. Hey, are you still interested in this tool or something? Mm -hmm. You know, we're not waiting on that. We're not, we're not waiting on somebody to come to the store so that we can try to sell them something. And it's we're, a smart move for those companies because you are putting their product right in the guy's face that you're, oh, if I was, that you're targeting. You know? If I was a company, uh, that's the first thing I'd want to do. Uh, I'd want to try to get if I if I made a tool, and I was like, okay, how can I sell the most of these? Oh, I'm gonna target the tool truck brand. You mm -hmm. know, hey. If I put your label on this, will you try to sell it? I, well, that's, you know, socket rails and stuff, you know. Yeah. Prime example right here. As far as I know, y'all are the only ones that's got the double magnets on there. I haven't seen it anywhere else. Now, they make the trays. Yeah. Mechanics Time Saver makes it, but Matco's got those exclusively yeah. for them. So let's just take that for example. Mechanics Time Savers, they're awesome. They're, they work good. They got it. I mean, yeah, they're built for exactly what they do. If they didn't settle the tool trucks, you think they'd still be in business today? I don't know. And it's one of those. That's like I said, I, I, I don't know. There's a lot of companies that we get into that sell here and there, but I'm almost willing to bet that most of theirs are tool trucks. And I'm going to say that's why tool trucks get to do better warranty on a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. No question asked. I've, I've mentioned that before. Um, I'm gonna say that's why, because they know. Okay, yeah, we may warranty a, a little bit higher on the tool trucks, but our products turning a lot quicker. Yeah. Uh, and especially with right now with the COVID going on right now, uh, and people not ordering as much, not selling as much. You know, you've got four major brands pushing it down these tech's throats, mm -hmm. so to speak. I mean, we're not just going in and saying, "Hey, you got to buy this," but right. we're showing up every week. They're coming out. They're looking around the truck catches their eye the next thing you know the next week if they don't buy it then the next week they're going to buy it well another thing too that i think people forget about with a tool truck because i'm one of the things i always hear is the price it costs too much it's way too expensive blah 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 okay at the end of the day could you spend five hundred dollars on an air impact on a mechanic a normal mechanic salary like could you just walk into home depot and drop 500 so no, bucks so yeah that's a good point no I, and as a tech i never even if i had the cash i never wanted to spend it because i may have yeah. a bad week the next right. week you never know um and that's what i try to tell some of my techs you know they'll come in and they'll be like oh, i just want to pay it off okay i know it's a good week but next week may not be good i know i know and, and that's fine but yeah mm -hmm. uh let's take the impact for example you need impact you need sockets okay uh, buy the impact or buy the sockets. Which one are you going to do? Well, I'll probably buy those sockets first because I can use a ratchet. But you're still out that 300 bucks or 200 mm -hmm. bucks or whatever it may be on sockets. And now you got to wait till you build your money back up. Right. And most people don't manage money very well. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's if it's in their pocket, it's burning a hole. So it's either going to a tool truck or going to, you know, something else, some car parts or truck parts or whatever it may mm -hmm. be. So the the price is good, but you also got to remember. I know they. A lot of people, their first instinct, are they, they, they're making killing off that tool. Really not. And I'll break it down. When you when you take, all right, the company makes it for this much. They sell it to Maco for this much. Well, maco has got to make a profit so that they can continue to the advertise and marketing, and, marketing right. and all that. Well, and then you've got, you've got their customer service line that they have to pay for somehow. You've got, you know, their engineering department to where they've got to pay for somehow. I mean, you've got... 
Well, they're, those flyers y'all hand out, they're not free. Yeah. They the, had to pay a photographer, pay an editor, pay a publishing company, pay yeah, a printing so company. Yeah, so Mako's bills are there, no. too. You know, they're not, they can't just, and that's what most people think, and it kills me. They think that I'm an employee of Mako and that they just send me this stuff for free, and mm-hmm. if I sell it, I, you got the profit. If not, you know, don't worry about it. That's not how that works. Right. So not only do they have all of that, but they've got to work these deals where they buy so much of this product to get it at this price well, sometimes they don't sell that much right up front, so yeah, they got to hold it. In a, on it right? Yeah, they got to sit on it, so that's money. And then you got the warehouses to send it out, so employees galore they got to pay for. So that's that's the first thing. And then the next thing, they sell it to us. You know, they can't make a huge profit off of us because if they did, we'd never buy it. And then you couldn't. It'd be harder to resell. To resell. Too, right? So yeah, the the price is there, but then we got to turn around and sell it again. I'm sorry, but I can't sell it for what Mako gives to me because I've got to mm-hmm. feed her and three other kids. Uh, you know, there's just no way. In the same way, she she works on this truck, so if she's got to feed me and three other kids. You know, we've got to make our money to. And another thing, people don't think about like this here. Like when you ordered that, you probably had 30 days to pay for that. Uh, you know, or so. You know, I mean, I'm sure it was a. a Mako time frame. does it well. Yeah, they do, and without giving too much because I don't, I don't I don't know how much I can really go in but basically four tiers that we have um, I like to stay in that first tier which is seven days I won't go beyond what what each tier is beyond that but I like I, I try to pay everything that I get seven days so if if it's new product on here within seven days I want it paid for so. And it may ride there for two months before you sell it. And oh, then there's stuff you on have here. to finance it. Yeah, you know. So. Yeah, there's and see that's another thing. We with us financing, I've got to make enough money to pay for the money on the streets. Mm-hmm. So you know, it's we don't make a killing. The, any tool truck that tells you they're making a killing, they've got their truck paid off. They've got you know their their startup costs because see that's another thing it's not cheap to get into any business mm-hmm. startup costs and everything else um, I personally think that um, the cost is justified with if you've got good service from your dealer you 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 know you can trust him then there we go the, the price is justified. well I, I can say this and I know this firsthand if you can walk in here and jump head first in that hole that you had left for you, and you can fill it up and build a mountain on top of it. These guys starting in a clean area, they have no excuse. Yeah, well, and like, they really don't. If they fail, it's because they failed, not yeah because it don't work. Because you prove that when what? you because you started in negative <laughs> ground. You well, know? The, and the thing about it is, a lot of people when when there's a felon distributor or anything like that, they want to go and blame Mako. That's the, I saw it this morning on Facebook. A guy has a, basically a crappy dealer, and the first thing he does is blame Mako for that crappy dealer. Why can't you have better franchisees? Why can't you get better people to work for you? Well, that's where the problem starts. <laughs> Mako doesn't pick that distributor. Right. That distributor comes to Mako as just somebody wanting to own a business. Mako approves them based off of credit. They don't know this yeah, person. Yeah, they don't know his personality. Yeah, this person can lie up front and say, "Well, I'm a crappy person," but once they lock into that contract, They're there's there. not a whole lot Mako can do until it's time to renew that contract. Mm-hmm. Now, when it's time to renew that contract, we know firsthand in my area they can go, "No, we're we're not gonna we're not gonna renew." You're, the reason we're not gonna renew is. You didn't go to most of your shops. You didn't do this. You didn't do that. But then the people want to gripe that they don't have another distributor right there behind them. Well, we can't. We got to have somebody make that leap right. to want to do that. So there's a lot of a lot of business aspect to this. But the key thing to this, if you ain't got a good distributor, your good price is not the price is not right. I understand mm-hmm. that. But if you've got a good distributor that's coming in every week, that's, that's handing you these flyers, that's taking care of your warranty right up front it you know spend yeah. that extra money to get the quality well in a in a lot of things you know and i may not even supposed to say this but if i don't if i'm not supposed to say this you can tell me and i'll cut it out of the video but like i know that you go way beyond your call to be a matco salesman because 
you've had customers that didn't have a Mac dealer or didn't have a Snap-on dealer, and you actually brought those tools for me, you know, to get them replaced and warranted, yeah. and then you was able to take them back to your customer. Yeah, so that's you know, something. And, and Matco may not even want me to say that, but I mean, to me, that speaks volumes. I don't. I don't on how see far why, you try to yeah, take care of your customer. You know, I don't see why Matco would have a problem with it. Um, I try to have that service, trust, and results, no matter what. So, and there's sometimes to where that gains me ground as far as trusting that customer. It would me. We just you know. rebuilt a Snap-on ratchet yesterday. Um, no, I'm sorry, it was Wednesday. The kid was a great Maco customer, but he had a Snap-on ratchet that mm -hmm. fell apart when he was working on it. Um, it was a flex head, and the only thing is, is it was it was the head was just really loose after he put it back together. He was missing the little lock washer. Yeah. Um, no problem. I've got a kid in here that was stripped out. It, the lock washer was perfectly fine. Here, let me put it in for you. Built it for him. Have a good day. How much do I owe you? You don't owe me a thing. Really? Yeah, you don't owe me a thing. And the he next time right he needs a and, ratchet, he's coming, Well, he turned right around and, and bought a ratchet. Mm. So. Well, see, and, you know, and I hope these guys, everybody wants to think like you and Joven and y'all are like enemies. But yeah. it don't work that way. You know, like I know Joven's told me before, hey, if, if he's ever got anything, tell him to bring it to me, I'll fix it. You know, and yeah. I know you would do the same. Like if he gets some Matco stuff that was traded in or maybe a customer that you don't see. Yeah, well, and, and the thing about it is me and Joven has actually, we, we try to have the respect for each other that we don't pull up each other at each other's shops. So if he's here, mm -hmm. I drive past, I come back by, he does the same thing. But there's... One or two shops that it just cannot be avoided at. And what we both do is we park, we don't get out, we just wait. Everybody does their business. You know, we don't go in, yeah. we don't try to get anybody. When he backs up and leaves, we leave. Well, this happened during the summer one time, and it's hot. So um, I was standing outside. He walked up, and he said, hey, you know, how's, how's business? And this was at the start of COVID. So really uncertain time for the tool mm -hmm. business. The, the tool business catches just about every wave there is. It, is. it don't matter if it's the start of school, <laughs> the fair in town, yeah, you're uh, right. a pandemic. It don't matter. We catch every little wave. How's business doing? Well, it's kind of down right now. Well, mine is too. Uh, what are you doing to, to make it better? Well, this is because I don't run Joven at every shop I go to. Uh, mm -hmm. I run Joven on two shop, or two days. So those are the only two days that me and him are in the same area. So he has three days that he's trying to do business. That I have three days that I'm trying to do business that doesn't compete with each other. What are you doing on those three days? Well, I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Mm -hmm. Well, on those three days, you know, I can at any time if something's broke, I know I've talked to him. He said, hey, if you've got anything broke, bring it to me. Yeah. I've said the same thing. Got anything broke, bring it to me. The thing that really amazed me, which I don't know why, we, I've never had a problem with anybody. As I mentioned, hey, I'm having trouble getting money from this guy. He said, oh, you know what? I can help you there. Here's his phone number. He'll pay you. And sure enough, called him. Yeah, man, Here, here's my debit card. Run it for $100. You know, yeah. he didn't have to do that. He could have said, hey, it don't matter. And if he has a problem collecting from a customer, I'll do the same thing. Mm -hmm. For legal reasons, I can't pick up his tools for him. You know, if I go into repo my yeah. stuff and his is there, I can't pick up the, the Snap-on stuff. But we have did a repo literally standing side by side i let him get his stuff and then i got mine and would continue to do that we're not just yeah. these huge rivals i think everybody just wants to you know they want that drama between you guys and it's just not there well it ain't there they want that drama until it actually happens yeah and when i say that is they want that drama until that that snap-on dealer or that macro dealer comes in the, jo the shop and sees a snap-on tool or sees a macro tool and go why are you buying that junk you know, because that's where that rival starts. Yeah. That rival starts with the dealers, and then it takes into that dealer coming in and bashing the tools, and then they don't want it no more. It's like, why are yeah. you talking down about my decision to buy this? Well, then all of a sudden they're not going out and buying from said distributor. You were exactly that's, right. That's, you don't, they want that on camera. They don't want that in their area because then it becomes trash talk, and they're caught in the middle, and it's just drama. You, the tool truck day is supposed to be a day. To where you get excited and want to buy yep. tools right. it turns into trash talk 
where I'm where uh, I don't do this, but let's just say me and Jovan had this rival. Well, now I'm by bashing him every chance I get. He's bashing me every chance I get. You're just trying to buy a freaking tool. Mm -hmm. So now you're getting off the truck because you buy from both of us and you don't care no more. You don't want to be in the middle of the rival. That's so true. it's wanted until it actually happens. Mm -hmm. and then it ain't wanted no more. So that's right. I'd rather just keep that drama. Just there's there's none. But you're right. You're a hundred percent right because the old Matco dealer. The very first time that he came here and we got on his truck, I was looking at the Matco screwdrivers. I liked the handle, I liked the way they felt, but I hadn't bought them yet. Yeah. And uh, that day I decided, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy them. I'm gonna go ahead and get them. So we was talking and I was looking at the ratchets and uh, everything was cool. He never said anything negative. The second time he come, Pretty much the same way, we, we bought some stuff. Well, the third time he come, he, his first thing was, why are y'all buying all that strap on junk? <laughs> yeah. And like instantly, and you know, there, there had been nothing negative at all, at all on the Matco truck until he said that. And instantly, and me and Jovan wasn't even that good of friends at this time, like, you know, I mean. Yeah. It ain't like we hung out or anything. And instantly i was turned away yep. like you know I, I was like you know what this is kind of weird and then it just got weirder and weirder yeah. and weirder and it got to the point where it was so weird that i didn't even really care if he came at all to be honest with you you know well, like that, it wasn't, that's kind of what fun. happens yeah that's that's what happens and oh. then the day that brandon moss came here to do the route survey when you was looking at taking the route over yeah I, i've never said this on camera before but Bill was in there, and we was working on the truck after Brandon left. And I said, boy, I feel sorry for that guy. I had no idea. You know, he didn't tell us your name yeah. at that time. He just said, we, we got a new guy coming in. And I said, man, I feel sorry for this guy. I said, he must not be from Prentice County. He must not know the, <laughs> so, the, the, the mess he's jumping into. Actually, I didn't say mess. I said yeah. the S word, but... Um, it's it's kind of funny because when John Shelton, which I I'm from Prince County, I live in Boonville, mm -hmm. but the thing that it is is I never worked in Boonville as a technician. I worked in Tupelo. Well, yeah. Tupelo, the Michael guy was great. Yeah. You know, uh, Snap On was great too, but Michael was great um, to me personally. He was great. So I was like, yeah, you know, he, I was going to start my own shop, and he's like, hey, instead of doing that, won't you do this? Like, yeah, that sounds like a great idea, you know. I didn't know the route was opened up. I didn't know anything. Because and I and I'll and I'll go yeah. <laughs> Look at her life because she knows what's coming. Yeah. The problem. Well and I'm gonna tell her, yeah, and 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 the thing about it was the the funny thing about it was two years prior, or maybe three, Greg comes in, Greg O'Quinn, he was a snap on dealer. Mm -hmm. He's like, Hey, I got routes available, anybody interested? I was like, Hey, I I might be interested. You know, and I listening to it and everything and I was like eh, yeah, I don't know um, I don't know if it's the time I don't know if it's the right thing to do so I just I, I told him never mind I, I wasn't interested I hadn't told a whole lot of people that I thought about being a snap on dealer but I was like yeah no I, I, I'm not interested well then fast forward now there's a Michael Tools franchise available and I, he's telling me everything and the things that I disliked about the way that snap on did stuff mm -hmm. It was golden over here, and I was like, "Oh, wait a minute!" You know, every Matco dealer I've ever talked to says that exact same thing. Yeah, so exactly word for word. Yeah, so I was like, "Hey, you know, great tools," and my my box was filled to the top with Matco stuff. So I had used it, mm -hmm. I had trusted it, I had got good results out of it. My dealer was top. I was like, "Yeah, this sounds great." So I call her and I'm like, what do you think about this? And she's like, oh God, I don't, uh, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah. And she is all like negative about it. It's like, I just, I, I don't know about this. Are Look, you really I'm sure? I Google well, hold on. I'm getting to that. Oh, hold on. I'm getting to that. <laughs> oh my so, God. It had to pull up my video. Yeah. So the first thing she does is she, after we hang up, she Googles. Maco tools. Maco tools. Well, the video comes up. Yours first one. So I'm getting back from lunch, and she calls me. She's like, "Hey, you gotta, you, you gotta Google Maco tools. Like, if you're really thinking about doing this, you gotta Google it." So I'm like, "Okay, I will." 
Well, I Google it, and that video plays, and I'm sitting in my truck watching this video, and I'm like, holy crap. So I'm like, well, I don't know now. I uh, just, I don't know. Like, that's in my area. I just don't know. I'm sorry. So. <laughs> but now, it wouldn't, it wouldn't well, Matco Tools. Right. Like, what did my sign exactly say? Yeah, my dealer. So My dealer. It so, didn't say that the brand. I was like, okay, I, I got to find out more about this. So. I go inside and I call John. I'm like, John, look, have you seen the video? Yeah, I've seen it. I'm sorry, Dude, John. I, I've heard a lot of good stuff about you, and I know I you're was, a great guy. I was, I'm I, sorry, too. <laughs> so I was like, man, look, I don't know that this is the route that I need to take, or this being in my area. And he's like, you know what? He goes, that's fine. He goes, do me a favor. Go ahead, fill out that piece of paper, send it in, and then I will talk to you when I come by. I'm like, okay, no problem, you know. So he come by and he waited till everybody got off the truck. He shut the door. He's like, "Look," he goes, "the the dual business is it's only as good as you are." Mm -hmm. He goes, "You can turn that around, but you're gonna have to work for it." And I'm like, "Okay, okay." So I'm like, "All right, do I call? Do I call Virgil and ask him what happened on his end?" And then I, "Nah, I'm not doing that." I mean, I, I went as far as calling and getting his number from somebody else. And, I'm, and they even told me, man, you might as well just go with Snap on. Like, because they thought I was buying tools, because I didn't tell anybody yeah. that I was trying to become a dealer. It I was just, bad here. Like, I know there's been a lot of people that's viewed that video. One of my best customers told me, I called him. I said, hey, I need the Mac Old Man's number. Man, you might as well go with Snap on. You'll get better. It, it, yeah. you, you might as well go with Snap on. I'm like, nah. People don't understand how bad it really was. Yeah, I didn't want to tell them that, hey, I'm thinking about becoming your dealer, your, your Mac Old dealer. But, and I even said it, uh, I, a lot of customers don't know, but one of the videos, we, me and Clay did a video for the Maco Expo, it was showed. I even said in that video, and Maco Corporate even showed it, I didn't get told how bad this area was. Like, I was told, hey, you, you're going to have to do a little building, but I didn't get told that, hey, every bid, bridge was burnt, the remainings was bulldozed into a hole and buried, there's, there's a canyon size thing there like <laughs> nobody told me that and when i come in my first week i was like holy crap because it was just story after story after story and we wouldn't even hit in a third of my shops my first week like you got a list of shops you got to hit today you got a list of shops you hit today it's like 14 shops and you think great and you're hitting like five a day and it's like wait a minute how am i gonna hit all these shops because it's just story after story it turns into story time everybody's telling me how bad what had happened to them and the the thank god that i had three great trainers one was brandon moss uh one was an older gentleman and one was a female they were all great they stood right beside me listened to the story and said okay well this is how we're gonna make it right i'm gonna tell you and i tell this to steven or um, uh, brandon moss um brian kaufman anybody there's never been a matco dealer that had to fill the hole up that you did before you could start gaining ground. If there was, I won't shake there's his no hand. Way. If there's <laughs> no way. I, I guarantee there's not because, like, you could walk into Napa and you could mention the word Matco because there's always mechanics in Napa. Yeah. You know how it yeah. is. And it was instantly growls, grumbles, and bitching. Like, yeah. that's all you heard. Yeah, and I, you know, it, it was crazy, um, but three, four weeks into it, I'm still listening to the stories at that point, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, what have I done? You know, I've made sales. Yeah. I was making a little money, but it's like. He was a therapist for the first. Month and a half, man. Yeah. It was like, oh, my God, and it wouldn't. And then you walked into my shop, and you're like, this guy is an ass. I guarantee no, that's what you thought. No, it's okay. I'm fine with that. No, I get called that a lot. No, I'll be honest. When I walked into this shop, after watching that video, and we've never talked about this, but after watching that video and seeing how it had been done and then hearing all the stories that first week. Was this prior to coming here you heard the stories? Yes. Okay. So, because actually the first week that we ran, you wasn't here. You was on vacation or something. The doors were locked. So I had a whole first week of hearing these stories. Mm. And the second week <laughs> I meet Clay and he's like, uh, if I can't video, I don't want to go out there. And I was like, he's trying to catch me in something. You know, that was my immediate, that mm. was my immediate thing was 
you know, he's going to catch me on something. Like, the last dealer was bad. Like, I'm going to mess up. <laughs> it's going to go out to everybody. I'm going to be right back. You know, I didn't want, I didn't want on video of me slipping or messing up. So it took, what, three, four weeks? Three or four, yeah. And after hearing all these stories and everything, so the first week scared me with all the stories. And then the video was like, ah, I don't know. You know, if we start going into what he did wrong, is he want, is he going to want me to answer but I'm, for I'm that? But I never did that. No, though. there was never. I'm not that guy. Well, like, I'm and, not. And to be honest, I didn't know. I yeah. didn't know what kind of guy he was. So after about three or four weeks, it was, it was clear that there's no way that I'm that guy. There's no way that mm -hmm. even if they asked me about what the other dealer did, there's no way that I'm even anywhere close. And by at this time, we'd made so many things up for other people. It's like, and the and the and I called Brandon Moss that day um, because you sent me a message and said, "Look, if you'll come by at the end of the day, I'll get on your truck, do a video. I promise you, it'll be a good video." And I was, what did I tell you? I said, "If you don't like it, yeah, we we'll delete it." Yeah, we'll delete it. So I called Brandon. I'm like, "Hey, he's wanting to do this video." I was like, "You know," he, and Brandon told me, "He's like, look, if you don't feel comfortable doing it, don't do it. If you do feel comfortable doing it, do it." But the main thing is, you're not the last guy. You're, you're not him. Mm -hmm. So we actually went to lunch at Hardy's, and, and and I was like, look, do you think we should go up there and do this video? And she's like, ah, I don't know. And I was like, well, you know what? Three weeks into this, four weeks into this, I know what all the other guy did wrong. And honestly, we come in, we did the video. It never got brought up. Like all within, and I'm five, not that guy. I don't yeah, do that. You know? Well, five or ten minutes into it, it was, okay, he's not shooting a video about the drama that was here. He's mm -hmm. shooting a video about the tools that's here. So yeah. it, it went a whole different route, but yeah. the, the <laughs> I guarantee you, like you could see the nervousness. Like I hope if you guys haven't watched this, I'll put a card at the top, we'll link it at the end of the, the video, but y'all should go back and watch Michael. He was, he uh, was nervous. nervous. Yeah, oh, nervous. nervous wasn't it, you know. And, and the thing about it is, is it didn't, after that first video, the next video, I was I was still a little nervous, but I wasn't nervous as the same as the first one. The first one, I was kind of worried about what was going to get brought up or what was going to be said, mm -hmm. because I don't care to answer for what I do. The mistakes that I do. And see, I knew that. Like, yeah. but I guess I should explain that. Like, you know, we're looking at you from today on. Yeah. I'm not. So, I, you can't answer for any man's past. You can't answer yeah. for another person. Well, and that's the thing. Any mistake I do or my kids do, I'll answer for it. Yeah, because they're they're my kids. I'll answer for them. What I've done, I did, and I've made mistakes, and I've had to tell people, look, I screwed up. Mm -hmm. I'll do that. But another man's stuff, I don't know what his head was, what he was thinking, his reasonings, whatever it may be. I don't know. I didn't want to answer that. So that's the only reason I was nervous in the first one. But since then, I mean. And now you're probably the most famous Matco tool truck dealer. Well, I don't know about that, but <laughs> on YouTube at least, you know. <laughs> Like everybody knows your name, you may not yeah. know their name, but well, you're Matco Michael to most of the world. I read so. the comments. I see a lot of stuff, you know. Uh, I just challenge, you know, and I, I probably shouldn't do this, but I challenge the ones that hit that dislike button every week. There's seven to ten every week. They're just haters. They're closet haters. Because yeah. here's the deal. Well, and it's on every. It's and the thing about it is, it's not only on my video. It's on the Snap on video. It's closing. It's it's on there. I challenge them. If you hit that dislike button, write what your dislike about it. Because if it's service that you've received in the past, maybe mm -hmm. I can help you. You know, they're just but, closet haters because they're closet fans that are haters. Because yeah. if here's the way I look at: it. if I don't like you, I don't watch you. Yeah. Period. Like I'm. I don't. I don't know what you do. I don't. I don't troll you. I don't ghost you on Instagram. Like, if I don't like you, I don't like you. And there's no secret about it. Like, I just, I don't have anything to do with you. I'm not going to spend my time. You're not living in my head rent free. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to well, say. Well, see, that's, and that's the thing with me. Like, the dislikes don't bother me. But I just challenge you, if you hit that dislike button. they're dumb. They're stupid. Because to YouTube, that's an interaction. Yeah. YouTube don't care if it's a thumbs up. Or a thumbs down. Yeah. You interacted with the video, which is a positive thing, which pushes the algorithm to promote yeah. your video. I don't know. <laughs> Stupid. I don't know. But, you know, the thing that got me is when we were doing, like, the autism awareness or even the breast cancer awareness videos. And, you know, it's like, oh, dislike. And it's like, really? Like, 
Man, when your heart is that full of hate, <laughs> there's crazy. nothing you can do to change that. That's crazy. You, you've seen the 101 Dalmatians, right? Yeah. You know the witch that wanted to boil puppies? The same thing. Yeah. It just, you know, it is what it is. Well, I guess <laughs> we've bored y'all guys Total long, talk long and enough. Else. We went from uh, creeper wheels to cheap toolboxes full of tools with a low weekly payment to boiling puppy dogs. Wow. Hey. You never know what you're going to get here. That's all right. <laughs> There'll be a bunch of comments about several things. So. All right, guys. Like always, thank you all for watching. If you like it, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Or, I know you haters ain't sticking around this long. There you go. Anyway, merchandise over here. Cool tools and discount codes in here. And click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Y'all have a great weekend, and we will catch y'all next time. See ya.